Hi, my name is Andrew Lowe. I'm a certified SolidWorks expert here at Javelin Technologies. And in part three of our video series on looking at tips and tricks for consumer product design, we're going to look at how we can use the boundary surface tool to manually build really high quality fillets into our models. Now, if we're creating small fillets that are simply rounding hard corners, this isn't a necessary approach, but if we have to have very large rounded corners on the part we're designing, this is a really good approach to have a really high quality surface that we can tweak. So I have a hard edge surface here, and I'd like to create that really nice blend between them. So I'm first going to grab my surfaces toolbar, and I'm going to use the fillet, and I'm just going to create a constant radius fillet, 30 millimeters on this edge. Now this fillet itself is relatively low quality as we examined in our last video installment. However, I'm going to use the delete face tool. And the reason I use delete face is I now control the size of this fillet with the fillet feature and we'll use a boundary surface to join the two pieces back together. So under direction one, I'm going to want to specify this first edge and my second edge and I can see that the software builds a patch between the two surfaces. However, this is a straight planar surface. There's no curvature at all here. So what I can do is actually change the end condition of the boundary surface. And by turning on curvature to face, this is going to force SolidWorks to maintain the curvature of this face here. And I can actually see that these curvature combs are showing up on my surface and I have the quality here. If I only had tangency to face, you'd note that the curvature combs here have this very sharp edge where using curvature to face brings them nicely down to zero, maintaining that uh, radius of the flat face. Some nice things to note about the boundary surface is I can control the level of tangent length. And these are these grab handles here. And what I'm going to want to do is just select the handle and I see how I can actually pull this surface out. So I want to pull this surface out and now I have a very nice smooth gradual transition. I'm going to do the same over here. And I just want to massage the overall shape of this fillet and here I have a really nice smooth curve. So when I actually click OK and complete the feature I now have a really high quality transition between these two faces. So let's look at the zebra stripes and just see how high quality this is. If I look at my zebra stripes, they look really nice. Really nice smooth transition coming in here, nice smooth transition coming out. If I was to apply a chrome material, let's just evaluate how exactly this part looks. So I'm going to grab my chrome plate here drop it on the model and let's just evaluate and see we have a very very smooth transition if I was to roll this back and just look at the fillet you can see the big difference here nice smooth gradual transition very hard edge break so we always want to strive for the highest quality surfaces as these are going to directly impact the look and feel of our product thanks for joining us